Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I laid down and slept and rose up because the Lord is with me. Father, thank you for this past night. Thank you for being with us. We are grateful to you. Today, Lord, we pray for our nation, Nigeria. The land of Nigeria is good. The land of Nigeria is well situated. It is the most populous nation in Africa and seventh most populous nation in the world, rich in natural resources, rich with great economic potentials, rich in human resources. We have all it takes to be a great nation. But see also, Lord, we are backward. We are poor. We are insecure. There's kidnapping every day. There's shedding of blood every day. There is fear in our land. Palpable fear in our land. There's youth unemployment. Every statistics is down. Is down. But Lord, we pray today because it is not too late. It is never too late. Your word says in James chapter 5 and verse 16, the prayer of the righteous availeth much. The effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. And so today, we ask that you will have mercy on us as a nation. Forgive our sins, Heavenly Father. Have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. We are all sinners. Have mercy on us. We plead the blood of Jesus. You said in your word in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8, He has shown you, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of thee to do justice to love mercy, and to walk humbly before the Lord. Help us, O God, to do justice. Change us as a people. Help us to love mercy. Help us to walk before you in humility. As from today, we will not lie, we will not steal again, we will not cover up again. We will be truthful in our dealings. We will not allow injustice again. In the name of Jesus, you corrected the children of Israel in Isaiah 58 and you told them the reason why you did not pay attention to their fasting and prayer. Because they had oppressed the poor and they refused to change. And so you told them to go and free those wrongly imprisoned and oppressed to lighten the burden of others, to let the prisoners go free, to remove the shame which bind people, to share food with the hungry, to give shelter to the homeless. When they fulfill the condition, you turn things around for them. Father, today, we embrace repentance. We embrace reformation so that we can have a revival in our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, today we pray that you will give us deliverers, not just leaders. Remove every leader that is blind. Every leader that is insensitive to what is happening. Leaders that are dumb, remove them. Remove them from military position. 
remove them from executive position remove them from legislative position remove them from ecclesiastical position remove them from judicial position leaders that are insensitive to the plight of the people using their position just to amass wealth in the name of jesus christ lord this evil and satanic army we ask that you destroy them today your word says in joel chapter 2 verse 20 but i will remove the northern army far away from you and i will drive the army into a parched and desolate land and its vanguard i will drive into the sea and its rear guard into the western sea lord i decree that the army of occupation the army of kidnappers in nigeria you will drive them into the atlantic ocean today you will drive them into the desert sahara desert in the name of jesus christ father deal with them so that there will be restoration of peace in our nation we look up to you to help us we have no other person who can help us help us heavenly father visit this land with your mercy visit this land oh god with your kindness visit this land with your love do not allow us to perish just like this in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name Oh uh -huh.